Okay, so day three has actually been, is almost over. <laughs> it's about halfway through right now. Sorry I didn't update this morning, but um, most of the exciting stuff is happening this afternoon. And just check my Twitter updates, past ones as well, current ones, and future ones. Because that's going to show what's happening. But, I mean, this won't actually go on until tonight, so. Huh. Anyway. What is happening on the third day? What has happened? What is happening? This morning, we got a late breakfast, but it was such a good breakfast, too. I mean, I was starved. I was <laughs> totally tired from last night. And yeah, I'm just wearing my binder right now. Anyway. <coughs> uh, we then went and went around the Parliament Building here in Winnipeg. And then we went to the museum, which is so awesome. There was like this giant pirate ship there, and I was like yeah, flabbergasted by that. Got a whole bunch of pictures. I also hacked up my lung a bit because I am a little sick, which kind of sucks. But well, we'll see what happens. Uh, and then we had lunch over at this really nice restaurant called The Tallest Poppy which is kind of like this indie, country, homegrown sort of feel restaurant, and the food is really good, vegan friendly too. Uh, they give you sandwiches, nice sandwiches. They're like huge, uh, like that big. You can't even fit your mouth around them, they're so big. And they also give you some like chips, they also give you salads, like it, it feels like a picnic, but a classy picnic. And then we ended the afternoon off at the Graffiti Gallery. There. Now this is a sweet uh, gallery that's happening, Graffiti Art Programming. It's a not-for-profit youth art center dedicated to the creation of a safe and accepting environment for the de development of all forms of artistic expression. GAP uses art as a tool for community development, social change, and individual growth. And it's a really awesome time, like if, if you could check out their website, which is actually Graffiti Gallery dot com oh sorry graffitigallery.ca they have some wicked stuff on there and if you ever get a chance come here to Winnipeg and check it out it's super super cool uh, it's in this old warehouse there's graffiti everywhere good graffiti and amazing anyway so I'm getting ready for the Queen's visit pretty soon that is the Queen of England and I was I, I did a uh, little interview yesterday for the Winnipeg Free Press, and we had about a five minute inter interview, and then they took a whole bunch of pictures as well. But I show up in the paper this morning, and like it's it's the tiniest thing ever. Okay, it's this whole page. Okay, and in this whole page here, this is the whole article. I am right there. That That is me. <laughs> that is what the Evoke Art Contest got right there. And I'm quoted as saying, I'm nervous I don't have the right pants, laughed Jack Saddleback, a 21-year-old Calgary artist whose self-portrait honors the struggles of transgendered people. And I thought that's pretty neat. <laughs> Of all the things to quote me on, it was a good interview, it was funny, it was nice casual, and I'm glad that something definitely went in there, at least for the artist here for the Evoke Art Contest. <coughs> so, getting ready to see the Queen, I'll give a quick picture of my outfit that's going to happen, and <coughs> try not to die as I'm going there. So I'll talk to you guys in a bit, and update you. See ya. Okay, so there you have it. Talk to the Queen, talk to the King, talk to the Prime Minister, and talk to the Chief Fontaine, and a lot of other dignitaries over there. And on, I'm, I'm like eerily calm right now. Well, it's not like eerily calm, but I don't, like a really good feeling. Hang on. There we go. A really 
awesome, awesome feeling, no doubt. I mean, this is a historical moment, and I am so, so proud to be a to be a part of it. And yeah, as, as you can see, I'm I'm, I'm welling up, <laughs> no doubt. But it's so awesome too, being able to show my artwork and bring transgendered rights, especially in a cultural context. A societal context is so so awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna cry, <laughs> but it isn't like a bad cry. It's a good cry, you know, really emotional. And ah. anyway, so well, they did the cornerstone laying ceremony. It was pretty much uh, the cornerstone was laid on this plaque, and they unveiled it, and she. The queen took her took a trowel and figuratively put over some concrete for the cornerstone laying ceremony, and and then she walked over to us. This is this is the extra stage. We were off to the right, so she walked over, and as well as all the other dignitaries walked over, and gave us a few words of definite encouragement and as well as just a very very proud feeling in the sense that this is a historical moment right here and this guy had the awesome opportunity of being a part of it especially of putting putting our work out there like no doubt but also like standing up for not only myself but everyone who's watching this and all the oh I'm, I'm feeling hippie right now <laughs> no doubt but yes, she talked to us, she talked to me, um, the king also talked to me, King Edward, and then there was Prime Minister Stephen Harper, he talked to me as well, like, he actually shook my hand, he come up to me and he asked, well, what's your name? I'm like, I'm Jack Selbeck from Calgary, Alberta. He was like, oh, alright, good on you, man. Male, male pronoun from the freaking Prime Minister of Canada. <laughs> How awesome is that? And then I shook Phil Fontaine's hand. Uh, I, no, sorry. Is it Adrian Fontaine? Oh. I was, well, anyway. I believe it's Adrian Fontaine. He shook my hand. And if Adrian Fontaine, you're watching this, or if anyone knows him, please correct me. And if so, I'm sorry. Uh, but he shook my hand, and he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, Jack Saddleback. He's like, oh, you're you're from Hobima, aren't you? I'm like, yeah. And, there you go. So, all you Hobemians watching, all you native people watching, there's one for you. Yeah, I'm feeling awesome right now. I mean, I got this this pass right here. This got us into the VIP section, and it was really surreal, too. I mean, going into the VIP section, we're, we're gated off into this tent, and all the other people are standing around, like, all the people who, who don't have VIP passes are, like, right at the actual gate, so it felt really awkward because everyone was around us at the gate and they were all kind of squished up against the gate, and yet inside the gate there was a lot of room, so it was, it was a little strange. Anyway, back to the actual talking talking. Um, if y'all guys have any questions, any concerns, any discussions that you want to bring up, like I'm totally up for that too. Just hit me up with a video response are always welcome, but I also like comments right down below and don't 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 forget to subscribe, which is right up there. All right? And I'll talk to you later.